How to use Google Keep for productivity and notes. Hey guys, welcome back. If you are looking to get started with increasing your productivity and for note taking, then Google Keep is a amazing application that can enable you to integrate both of these things directly into your pre-existing native libraries of data or work. So let's do a breakdown of Google Keep, what this platform is like and how you can use it effectively. Now, in this tutorial, I will be covering everything you need to know about the desktop version of Google Keep. There is also a mobile version of Google Keep. If you want to use that, you can also use that directly on your phone. So you have all of the things that you need directly at your hand anywhere, anytime. Now, the first thing you have to do whenever you are looking to access Google Keep is simply head on over to keep.google.com. Now, if you have logged on to your Google account on your device, you will automatically be logged in to your Google Keep account. If you have not logged on, then you will have to log in from over here. You can also change your account. So if you're using more than one Google account, you can alternate between accounts. Now I have opened up Google Keep till yet. I have done nothing on this account. It's completely blank and you will see this as your display as well. So you have a dark theme as well. You can click on turn it on to turn on a dark theme. You can also choose to remove a dark theme if you do not prefer it. Later on, I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do that. But you will see this is a very simple setup. So you will see on your left hand side, you have your main menu. You can maximize this main menu. And in this menu, you have your notes, reminders, labels, archive and trash. Then on the right side, you will have your refresh button, your listicle view. So if you want a this kind of Kanban view or list view, then you have your settings. In your settings, you can disable your dark theme to go back to the morning theme. And then in your general settings, you have more detailed settings. So if you want to uh, add a particular type of reminder, so morning, afternoon, evening, you can set up these timers to the particular time which you consider morning. Let's say my workday starts at 9 a.m. So I would just enter that as 9 a.m. like so. And then my afternoon is 1 and then the evening is 6. Then you can also choose to enable or disable sharing if you want to share your work with other people. Then in your settings, you have some basic keyboard shortcuts as well. These can be super helpful if you are using this on the go and you need something that is going to be very fast and effective. Now let's actually get into the note keeping and productivity section of Google Keep. So this is your first section, which is going to be your notes. Now you guys can see I have these two notes. If I delete these over here, I can just delete these notes like this. Now to take a note, all I have to do is click on the take a note section and then this will expand the pop up dialog. From here, you can insert a title to your note. So let's say it, this might be so uploading on Instagram and then I might have a longer note. So so let's say I have this as my note. Now, once you add a note, you will see you have this little toolbar right below your note. Now, with each note, you have this remind me option. This can help you set up a time or date to remind you at when you want to complete this note. So let's say you're taking notes and you want to revise them later on if you're studying. This can be used for quite a myriad of things. So let's say if you're doing note taking for studying and you have your next study session in a couple of hours, you can set a reminder so you are able to go through your notes beforehand and then you can study again. If you're using this for work, this can be set to the next work hour that you have or the next work day. So let's say I want to set a reminder for tomorrow. Now you have your date time as well. So if I click on this note, I have my date and time. And then you can also set up recurring events. So if you have to do something weekly, so let's say you have a weekly summary meeting and in that summary meeting, you like to take a look at all of your notes that you took throughout the week. So if you're looking to look at that, then you want to click on weekly, set it on save, and this will give you a weekly reminder of that particular note. So this does not apply to all of your notes as well. Now, other than that, if you take a look at your reminder section, you can even see where you should be reminded. So this can take a look at your location. And if you want to allow this, you do have to click on allow on your desktop and you can choose where you want to be reminded. 
find it. So let's say the next time you visit your class or your university, then you want to be reminded of this note. So you can set a particular place as well, rather than just having to set a date and time. So let's say the next time you visit a exam hall or anything of that sort, then you can set a particular place as a reminder. And once you have that particular place, Google will see your location. If you have your location turned on your device, that is a caveat. So if the location on your device is turned on, then you will be given a reminder. Now, next up, you can add a collaborator to each individual note. So you can click on this and add a email that you want to collaborate on this note. This will not grant them access access to access any of the other notes that you have. However, they can also just see the particular note that you wrote. Then you have your background options, so you can customize the appearance of any of the notes that you're taking. You can even add these images to make your notes more pleasing to look at if you want to do that like this. So you can set up these little colors and then you can close them. Then you can even insert images. So if I go on over here and I want to insert this image, like this got it now i can i've added this image and this can be a great way for you to automate your work if you have someone else managing your instagram account or managing your business's instagram account and you want a simple and effective way to communicate you can set up these little reminders include images as well in those reminders for them to see what they are supposed to post and what are the captions hashtags they're supposed to use alongside the post now, next up, you have archive. You can archive any note to remove it. And then you have some other options where you can add drawings, checkboxes, and labels. So these are three very important sections. First off, you can create labels directly by going into the edit labels on your main left menu. So you can create any type of labels you want, depending on how you categorize information. Let's say I'm doing this for my Instagram automation. So I want to add ideas to upload and rejected ideas like this and then i can click on done and then in this way the notes will be categorized you will see them on your left menu and then any of the notes that i put in the ideas section will be added into ideas now after that you also have your add drawing so to add a drawing into any of your notes simply click on add drawing over here and you will have the marker on the top so you have multiple different font sizes or drawing pen sizes and colors and you can draw whatever you want so let's just say i want to write my name or whatever you might want to draw like this you can add any drawing that you want and then you can even have these grid lines appear so it's easier for you to draw but i don't want any and once you have added your drawing you can click on export as image and then the drawing will be exported as a image if you want to save a separate image otherwise it will just be added to your note like this you can even choose to crop a certain part like this and separate the drawing and delete it as well and you can even erase the lines within your drawing you have multiple different pen options and highlight options to make your drawing more interesting as well now after that if you take a look at your note your final option is to show check boxes so if you have things that need to be completed in a orderly fashion you can add check boxes to further organize your information for example, you have a sales channel or a sales funnel, or even if you're doing automation. So if I'm doing Instagram automation, I can maybe set something like upload post, reply to three comments, repost on story, share with other pages like this. So once I complete one task within it, it will remove that initial task and then only the ones that are remaining will be shown and the other ones will be marked. So this is a great way for you to organize one specific task into subtasks. So it's easier for you to be productive in your day to day. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.